New robot Eight, from Joe Fabiani. Seven, the captain six, is me. Five. And uh, three, looks like it's some two, kind of uh, unconventional fight. Robot walker. Fight. Yeah, it's like a bristle drive. Bristle drive. Oh, yeah, interesting. Love that. And are they working? Uh, is it no. bristling? It doesn't seem. There oh, we go. Let's go, there Joe. We go. There we go. What is that? A massive undercutter on? Yeah, Jesus? that's a pretty big undercutter there. Well, they start, they have the, the the walker bonus. Oh, I saw a belt just go flying off. I wonder whose that was. Oh, it's like the belt on Sneezes. But the Necromancer sounds very quiet in the box. I think Necromancer's drum is down. Agreed. <laughs> it seems like we're two weapons down here. So now the much smaller Necromancer is going to have to push around the weight bonus given oh, no. Sneezes. And Smesis has uh, succeeded in pushing the Necromancer up onto the rails. Wow, look at the size of these two robots. It's just like, it looks like 12 pounds versus three pounds. Now, will uh, will Fluffy come over and, uh, can, can you do the Fluffy? Oh, no, nope. no. No yep. need, no need. No need. Yep. Necromancer came back to life, as it were. Fluffy, can you put the belt back in Smesis? <laughs> <laughs> You know, necromancers really are just healers. They came a little too late. Yeah, a little late to the game. Now, uh, the necromancer is built by Zach Granby from Rochester, New York. Now, um, Zach is uh, here with his uh, former classmate from the University of Buffalo. They used to build 50-pound combat robots, and this is their first time uh, building for Norwalk Havoc. They both graduated college about four years ago, so this is uh, their first entry back into combat robotics, especially at this size. I believe that Zach's friend has, has built ant weights uh, previously. Oh, interesting. I really like this unconventional locomotion from Joe's robot. It's very different. Yeah, he's actually got a little bit of pushing power with it, too. Look at that. I'm surprised, yeah. If only we could see that weapon on Joe's robot. Come, come back. <laughs> How squeeze this. Take this belt from me and eat it, <laughs> for it is my body. <laughs> Forty-five seconds left here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Man, that drive is very interesting. Look at how the motors spin too. Yeah. It's unusual. Very. That's the thing that I love about Joe Fabiani. He always brings an interesting robot to Norwalk Havoc. I don't think I've ever seen a boring robot from Joe. 20 seconds left here in this fight. With both weapons down, this one will very likely go to the judges who will... They're going to have to, to judge this on damage and control. So we're down to five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of this fight. Weapons off. Make your way to the door if wow. you can. This might be the first fight that ever comes down to a color scheme. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be a judge's decision. Let's go ahead and start with our buddy Jack. What do you think? Sure. I think we went Jack last time. Oh, we did? How about Diana? Let's do Diana. All right. Diana, your thoughts on Jack this fight? Jack could go first if he wants to. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, I'm going to have to give this one to Sneezes. He seems to, I feel like he showed a little more control throughout the fight. Yeah. All right, we've got one vote for Joe Fabiani and Sneezes. How about you, Don? Your thoughts? Sneezes versus uh, uh, the Necromancer. Yeah, wholesale locomotion is interesting. Uh, yeah, but both lost their weapons, uh, and I feel like Sneezes did... They, he did get like a pin or two and was g good in pushing uh, Necromancer. So, and sneezes. Is that what you think? The whole saw locomotion? You think that's like yes, a couple those, whole saws? Those are whole saws. Interesting. On whole saws. Yeah, wow. whole saws. Like whole saws for drilling holes in, like big holes in pieces of wood. So they're, they're basically like round saws, is what you would. With, with. So he's cutting into the box. No, yeah, he's using them to move around. Yes. <laughs> wow. I suppose if he stayed stationary long enough. I feel he like Joe go. Fabiani is mad at Norwalk Havoc. Like, he wants to <laughs> cut through wooden floors. All right, how about you, Jack? Take us home. I'm also going to give it to Smeezus. All right, we've got three votes for Smeezus, which stays alive in the 12-pound bracket. 
and the Necromancer is uh, being kicked down into the loser's bracket. Wow. All right, I see 